Hey everyone, Destructive Ducky here, back in Batman Telltale series. I don't, I don't even know what. I think I'm on chapter three of episode one. I think still. What am I doing down here? Oh, I'm checking out a cobble pot. Man, he really, he really let this place go to the dogs. Where are you, Oz? Oh my God, I can actually control Batman. Weird. All right. What does it say? All right. I think I oh no, I thought there was someone sleeping up there. What does the B button give change? Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. You no problem. I'm Batman. I can I can do at least that. Why am I wearing this shirt if I'm, it's like cold? Can I just wear a jacket? Running late, the you have a Great. There's the statue, but no Oz. Oh, he just said he was running late, so. I wonder who that statue is of. It's probably his father, right? Beat it. All right, I was trying to be nice. Got a little dick. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, Zane. Isn't that a villain from uh, Arkham Asylum? Oh, yeah. well, it isn't what it used to be. All right, I thought he was gonna read it out loud. It's just all graffiti. Honestly, that's all it is at this point. Oh, is that Oz? Oh, no. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, pretty knife. Oh no. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. And him. Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. only the moment! Oh, Jesus. Come here! Oh. Think that'll do? Oh, nice. Stay down! Oh, God. Used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh, God, that looks like it hurts. Oh, they, did he kill him? This is my park. Hello? Mine. You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. There. Good as new. What a fucking psycho. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. All right. oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. 
back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. Oh, that's a terrible city. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Oh, really? I didn't know that one, Dad actually. Ended it yourself, he did. What is? My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. I don't know any of that. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. What? Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. What do you mean? Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home! That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. What? And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. What about me? You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Yeah, I'm on my side. I'm fucking Batman. But you don't know that yet. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Later. Press conference for a new hospital start soon. Car waiting on the top. Okay. Man, Batman is Bruce. Sorry, Bruce is really busy. A busy, busy person. I'm a little worried. That, okay, it's not gonna be a short video. I was worried it was going to be. What is this? Oh. Okay, that's cool. Nice car. That's greens, Batman. But red. Mr. Wayne, over here. Right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Wasn't it nighttime when I went over there? Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, yeah. We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, 
Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Oh, no. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do Points get out, up. or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Oh, shit. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Got a little emotional there. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Uh, I didn't turn as well as I thought I would. I got clapped with the camera in his hand. Did you guys sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into oh, your no. home. You even shook his hand. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Is that gonna get me please killed? keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Oh no. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. I don't know what about exactly this? are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. What? Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! Oh, How long no. has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What? Do they have a permit? I better have fucking have a permit. Oh, achievement. Meet the press. Complete chapter three of episode one. Uh, let's continue. I want to. I want to keep. I want to keep playing this. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Why? Says who? 
This warrant. You motherfuckers. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. I would not have done that, now. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. What the top? It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I mean, besides being Batman? Nah, I'm good. What'd they break? Uh-oh. That's terrible. Bruce, stay back! Flashbacks. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Okay. That's a horrible thing to keep remembering. Bruce. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, it does. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. The Falcones. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight... This scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. What am I gonna say? This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. I hope it works. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail.
I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Did he even know? Does anybody know? No. Oh. A warrant? For what? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. This guy's kind of a selfish dick. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? Falcones. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? That is exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. What? Hey, you. Oh, who's that? Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. What's with the bruised eye? Oh my god, is that Catwoman? You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Oh my god. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. That's it? It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around yeah. Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can... Drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. So, Miss Kyle, what brings you to Gotham? Business. Well, let's just hope she stays after what happened last night. What happened last night? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. Oh. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Yep. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. Did that work? I'm sure your clients will understand. I doubt it. In my business, People aren't very forgiving. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. Oh, yeah. We've got it under control. That's sucks. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. I don't, mm, I don't trust it. Awkward. Why is it so awkward? Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. 
This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? Don't tell him. <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Dude. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. Oh. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? Justice. I have to. But you... Why take the risk? Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. Oh, what? These people I'm working for? They don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact, he'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? 15 minutes ago. Oh my God, really? Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Isn't this my suit though? I know I know what she meant though. All right. I think that's where I'm going to end this video cuz that that's a good amount of time, I think. I don't think I'm done with this chapter yet, but you know what? That's fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.